hey guys um, this is another video on how to download uh, apps on your iPad especially when you've got uh, an old iPad this is the iPad mini one and um, a few downloads can um, a few apps cannot be downloaded um, let's check this I'm just using the internet on my phone so the hotspot on my phone so it's a, a bit um, iffy if you understand what I mean um, let's go to Chrome Chrome for iPad you find that it has that arrow there and when you try to download it that comes up says it's not compatible a few other apps even the firefox is the same say it's not compatible so you keep doing this because it's an old ipad and you're not able to download it so i'm just here to um explain ways around it um so rather than you having to get a new ipad or uh or trade away the ipad that you already have because um i've noticed that with apple these days uh they don't tend to they tend not to upgrade uh give updates for their old ipads and ipads and basically most of their old products and then you have to buy a new one to be able to do anything on it so I'm just going to give you a quick shot, shortcut on how you can get this downloaded. I'll take for example that Google Chrome. So what we're going to do now is you go to your play, um, not Play Store, App Store. That's where we are. Then go to Purchased. Before you do this, you, you've you've got to. Um, you should have had um, a new, a new a newer version of whatever product. It might be um, a newer iPhone or a newer iPad. Even if it's your friends, you can use your friends' iPad and go straight down to, to the um, to the bottom and change the name you can change the name you can go back and change the name hold on let me let me see if i can get that uh done here you can you can actually um go on your friend's um iPad or iPhone and then you put in your own um, put in your own Apple ID and download that product uh, that app that you really want to download you download it on your friend's iPad then sign out so once you've signed out then you can come back on your old Apple product and then sign back in on it and go to purchase so by the time you go to purchase the arrows will come up like this the way you can see it here now so now let's look for chrome and that we couldn't download earlier i know i've downloaded it sometime on my new ipad on the more recent ipad so there it is you find that that's the other arrow we got earlier is no longer there it just gives this so what you do now is you just click on that and then this comes up so you ask it it will ask if you want to download the last compatible version then you just click download 
and there it is i'm just gonna do this in real time i'm not gonna forward anything so you can see that um i've just done that and you can see that it's working let's give it a minute um just because i'm using the hotspot uh, it's gonna be a bit slow if you remember that we couldn't download the google chrome earlier but now that's been done and let's give it a couple of minutes yeah that's it now we can use the chrome on the old ipad so whatever the app may be whatever app you you really want to use and you can't be able to download it on the um on the on the on the on the old ipad or iphone that you have so this is the best way to go about it now we you can actually have that now we have that i couldn't download the netflix and the prime on this one earlier so i've done it that way and now i can have both i can have any app back on my old ipad i hope this helps um someone who's been thinking about throwing away the their old ipad i hope this works for for you you can leave a comment down i can send you a way to do it in case you're struggling with it but that's that's the best way to do to go about it and um i hope you like my video and um, subscribe to my channels for more uh videos like this subscribe to my channels and give me a thumbs up i'd like to hear your comments also thank you very much bye